So we are back today with another Apex Legends video and this time it's going to be a tier video which I haven't done in a while and I've been thinking to myself you know the last time I did it it was really well received so you know I thought why not let's make another one and um, it's been highly requested by you guys as well to make one so it gave me a little bit more of an incentive to make today's video and uh, if you don't know how this works basically we'll be ranking every legend on apex legends ranking them from rank d being the worst to rank s being the best and uh, just a quick disclaimer before we get into today's video if i don't call your legend the best like please don't come headhunting me in the comment section down below because you know this is just my opinion at the end of the day like you may have an opinion thinking you know I don't know, like, Mirage is the best legend, which is fair enough, you know, you're entitled to your own opinion. So, um, let's try and make the comment section as positive as we can. And, uh, let me know who you main in the comment section down below and where would you rank them in this tier list. But yeah, guys, I'm going to leave you with the video. If you do enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel to see more Apex-related content. But yeah, like I said, guys, hope you do enjoy the video. Take care, everyone. I'll see you guys in a second. So moving into today's video, we're going to be moving into the first tier. And that, of course, is going to be the D tier. Now, unfortunately, there is one legend in this tier. And to no surprise, I think some people will definitely agree with me on this. And it has to be Fuse. Now, looking at Fuse, before he came out in the game, he had so much promise. His abilities look very strong on paper, but when you look at it in the game itself, he just doesn't really fit the meta of the game. And um, I don't know where to start with Fuse, to be honest, because there's a lot wrong with Fuse, and I hope Apex do find a way of buffing him immediately, because... He is without the doubt the worst legend on the game currently and you know like first of all I just want to start on his tactical like his grenade launcher honestly I don't think it does much for anything really because you're not getting the height you want on the grenade you know projection and also another thing is his ring of fire is pretty pointless because most of the legends that have mobility like Pathfinder, Octane, Horizon, you name it, they can get out that ring of fire pretty quick and you know if they can do that it makes the ultimate pretty pointless so respawn please get on a fuse buff because he really does need it and uh, moving into the next tier. So we have now made it to the C tier and I've got two legends in this tier and I'm going to start off with Loba. Now looking back at my last tier video I did make, I was extremely harsh on Loba. I rated her as the worst legend on the game but I am not wrong in saying that she still has quite a few issues with just the legend in general and you know Respawn they still haven't really fixed her. Um, first of all you know her bracelet is pretty useless because you know half the time you try and go across the map it won't work like it will actually bail on you the bracelet and as a result you will die and there's nothing you can do about it to fix it so that's one of the issues and secondly you know her hitbox is one of the biggest in the game and um, if you're looking to obviously win a lot of fights Loba isn't really that person but I did like what I did with our ult I think she's a very useful legend when it comes to ranked now and um, hopefully you know respawn they fix her bracelet because she'll definitely move towards that B tier if that's the case. And now moving into the second legend. So you may or may not have guessed this but Mirage is our second legend in the C tier for today's video and hands up who remembers Mirage in season zero. I most certainly do and he was terrible to put it lightly and um, Respawn they've done a, an amazing job with Mirage. They've completely changed his kit around and you know they've done it for the better of course but I still feel like Mirage is he a top tier legend? I don't think so and um, you know if you're facing the good players they're gonna tell what a decoy is. It's pretty obvious. Even with the footsteps buff, you gotta be very, very skilled with a Mirage. So, you know, bamboozle, even the highest tier players. And, you know, I think Mirage mains won't be too upset with that because it's not like I'm ranking him as a low 
C tier is sort of like a high C tier, low B tier. And he has potential to definitely move into that B tier. Maybe even one day into that A tier, who knows. But he isn't in a terrible spot whatsoever. And um, yeah, we're going to be moving into the B tier, which we have quite a few legends for. So now we're on to the B tier. And I've got quite a few legends on this tier, as mentioned before. So we have got Rampart, Watson, Caustic, Crypto, and Bangalore. Now we're going to be starting off with Caustic. Now, without a doubt, he's probably been changed the most out of any of the legends in this tier. And it's all for the bad reasons. Now, if I made this video three or four weeks ago, or even like a week ago, he'd be straight into that A tier, without a doubt. But they've nerfed him pretty hard, if you didn't know already. And um, it has changed Caustic quite a bit. Now, we're not sure if his pick rate is going to be affected by this. But, you know, they've increased his ultimate timer and his gas canister all the way down to 5 HP, which is crazy because I think it was on like 12 at one point. So, you know, it's quite a big change for Caustic, but, you know, Caustic isn't terrible by any stretch of the imagination. So, you know, Caustic's still usable, but he isn't as good as he used to be. Now, moving into the second legend of this tier, and we're going to be going over Rampart. Now, Rampart has had a lot of buffs, which is obviously good because at one point she was without a doubt the worst legend on the game. And now she can, I think, move 180 degrees with Sheila, which makes a massive difference, honestly, because before that like, you were literally stuck in one position with Sheeta and there was just no point using it no point using Sheeta whatsoever so they did a pretty good job on that and they also increased the damage on her walls so you know very good changes to Rampart still there might be some potential to make it into an A tier legend we just have to wait and see and the next legend we're going to be going over is Bangalore. Now, I'd say she is probably the closest to A tier out of any of the legends in this tier. I think she's a very, very strong legend and very underrated at the same time. She's a very good team legend and a solo legend at that. And, you know, like, Bangalore is got a lot of potential with her kit because you know not only have you got double time which can really help you out in 1v1 situations but her smoke can help you loot and also her ultimate can get you out of some really tricky situations like people think that bangalore's ult is an offensive airstrike but that isn't the case whatsoever it's definitely more utilized for defensive play so um yeah bangalore is a pretty strong legend and without a doubt is very very close to that A tier and now we're moving into Watson. Now Watson has had a buff this season and it's a pretty good buff I'm not gonna lie because I ain't, I ain't gonna lie like Watson at one point was absolutely terrible like before this update she was one of the worst legends on the game and I think this little buff they've had has definitely increased up to the, the B tier for sure because her ult now has uh, you know faster shield regen now which is very very good for ranked play and that was what Watson was known for back in the day definitely her ranked ability so it's good to see you know respawn give her a bit of luck because she really did need it and uh, yeah we're going to be moving on to crypto now crypto is a very very strong legend i think that is for certain now looking back at season three he has definitely taken a turn for the good because you know if i speak about season three crypto i'm gonna be in big trouble so um yeah let's still talk about that and um yeah like like i said crypto is a very strong legend He's very, very, very good for ranked pubs or comp, you know, Nate, you can do anything with crypto. And, you know, there's two main reasons why I really like him. First of all, his EMP is very, very good at getting out of a situation and obviously pushing a team. And secondly, uh, I think this is probably my favorite thing I like about him. When you are in the drone, you can scan how many teams are in the area which can get, you know, your team out of a sticky situation, especially because, you know, the amount of teams I played with and they don't realize there's a team there, 
it's been very very common so having that ability really does help the team out and uh yeah crypto like i said is a very strong legend at that and definitely has more potential later down in the line now moving into the a tier so we have now made it onto the a tier and the first legend i'm going to be going over in this tier is octane now octane has had some really good buffs honestly like he was probably C tier the last time I did the tier list and you know Apex they definitely made him into a very very good legend this season. His jump pad is very useful now and if you mix that with Revenant it's a terrifying combo to use this season and you see it quite a lot in the ranked meta so Octane is definitely one to use this season if you haven't already and moving into the second legend in this tier and that is good old lifeline now lifeline's always been in a strong position and there's been talks of her getting nerfed in season nine i'm hoping that isn't true because i think lifeline's perfect where she's at in my opinion i don't think they need to do anything to her as of yet really and yeah lifeline like i said is in a good spot her Revive is clutch in so many situations and yeah like lifeline if you haven't used her already defo use her if you're that medic on the team and now moving into the third legend and this is gonna be pathfinder now i'm so happy they finally buffed pathfinder they finally give gave my boy path some love in this update because they did remove his low pro profile if you didn't realize and you know he's still fridge don't get me wrong you can still beam path but removing that low profile has definitely helped him out in the long run especially with that pick rate hopefully we see a resurgence of pathfinders now and i'm tempted to go back to him because respawn have got rid of the low profile and when you're talking about mobility i don't think any other legends really come close and maybe you can make a case of Octane or Horizon, but he's definitely one of the best legends for mobility, no doubt. And now moving into the next legend, and we're going to be going over Revenant. Now, Revenant is annoyingly good on this game. He's fit the meta for so long now, and like I mentioned earlier on, if you mix him with Octane, that is a terrifying combo to come up, come up against in ranked. You know, you see all the pro players do it this season in ranked, and rightly so, because it's a deadly combo to use. And I, feel, I just feel like Revenant, they don't really need to do anything to him, apart from actually nerf him, in my opinion, because his death totem, you can do anything. You can go anywhere on the map, and you have no consequences of doing that. I think they should add his range back, if I'm being completely honest, because that way, at least, you know, you can, you know, third party at a suitable range whereas if you're like just doing a totem from like the other side of the map it's just crazy crazy good man like it shouldn't you shouldn't be allowed to do that in my opinion but revenant is so strong i hate to say that and definitely part of the meta this season and yeah just for all of our sakes let's like hope not for much longer and now moving on to bloodhound now bloodhound is without a doubt one of the strongest ranked legends on the game his scan obviously can help your team out so much because you know you could probably walk into a team and you won't even know they're there there's no audio on this game it's non-existent so don't be surprised if you do walk into a team the scan will definitely help you out in that situation and obviously blood island just in general is just is such a strong legend and another thing i like about him is definitely his ultimate you can move i think it's 30 percent faster and you know your strafe speed is crazy insane so um definitely bloodhound's a top tier legend at that and we got two more legends in this tier and you're going to be quite surprised with these legends now the first legend that i'm going to be talking over is wraith now wraith is without a doubt one of the best legends on the game let's not mistake that she's still a very strong legend at that but obviously she got that hitbox nerf and it's not like a crazy nerf because she still has a very very good hitbox but that hitbox definitely made it into one of the best legends on the game without a doubt and you know increasing that hitbox 
you are going to lose a few more 1v1s, I think it's fair to say. But, you know, Wraith, whether you're playing p pubs, ranked, comp, she's without a doubt one of the strongest legends on this game. And finally, moving on to Gibby. Now, Gibby, I was so tempted to put an S tier, but they've done quite a few changes to him in this update. Not only have they got rid of his fast heals, which I agree with, they should have got rid of it ages ago. But now he can take shots, you know, like if someone shoots with a Kraber, you're going to take damage from that, which is, you know, fair enough. I agree with all these decisions, but they have definitely dropped him down to an A tier legend in my opinion. But, you know, Gibby can still definitely move into S tier for sure later down in the line. That is for certain because he's just a beast and he's been meta for God knows how many seasons now. And I just kind of hope that Respawn don't touch him anymore because, like, he's perfect where he's at, in my opinion. And, you know, he doesn't really need any more buffs, I think it's fair to say. And finally, moving on to the last legend. And obviously, it's the only legend in the S tier. Now, if you haven't guessed already, it is Horizon. Now, Horizon, without a doubt, is probably the best legend on the game. But I don't think it's by... A clear mile. I'd say if you said this about a season ago, then absolutely. But obviously, they've nerfed her pretty much to the ground. But that still hasn't changed her to an A tier legend. I think she's very, very strong no matter what I did to her. And you know, like whether it's using that black hole or that attack to get in them high ground situations, she's just so useful in every situation you face on Apex Legends. And without a doubt, probably the best movement legend on the game so you know if you want to improve and you know you want to get them high kill games horizon is definitely the way to go about it but yeah that's going to be the end of the video hope you have enjoyed guys uh, let me know if you want to see more tier videos in the comment section down below i'm sort of tempted to do a weapons tier video uh, but yeah hope you have enjoyed take care everyone and i'll see you guys in the next video or stream